Okay, so today we're going to go five billion years into the future when the sun will turn into a from a yellow G-type star to a red giant as it because as a star dies it, especially one that is not as hot as like a blue star it will as it dies it will expand into a red giant so we're going to see what will happen to our solar system when the sun expands into a red giant so here's what the solar system looks like today we have mercury and venus earth mars the asteroid belt and jupiter and saturn are right here so this is how you turn the sun into a red giant first you lower the mass to 0.6 or 0.5 i'm going to do 0.5 then you lower the temperature and as you can see the the color of the sun is already becoming redder and redder it, as it cools it becomes redder and redder then you turn the change the temperature to 3000 k a little bit lower temperature and you have to do it in this order again see it's becoming more orange and more red as it cools down and then we're going to change the radius to 2 AU that's astronomical units Astronom astronomical unit is the distance from the earth to the sun so that's two of those distances so let's see what happens already as you can see as we lowered the mass and the temperature the the orbits are already breaking up so let's see what happens here now it's becoming a red giant and look how far it expanded out let's try that again with the new empty simulation so you can see it better I'm going to add the sun and I'm going to put the earth the earth which is 1 AU 1 AU away There we go. One AU. There we go. Let's see. Earth and the sun. Let's show an orbit. A year has gone by. So there we go. That's the Earth orbiting the sun. You can add little objects. This reminds me of a episode of Doctor Who. Let's put, uh, well, let's actually have it orbit the Earth. They call it a police box. <laughs> In the second episode, the first series with the Ninth Doctor, they went five billion years in the future to watch the sun expand into a red giant to over the earth so let's do this again mm -hmm. Ready, go. Bam. That's how much bigger it went. And as you can see, the earth is gone. And our little police box is gone. So I hope they weren't too close in the show. We'll put them back up here. And that's what happens. Yeah. 
you can even check out it's 200 minus 270 degrees Celsius There's our little red giant sun. Now let's put like, um, I'll show you how much cooler that red giant is. If I, like if I were to put an earth, let's do Two AU away. And it looks like it's really close to the red giant. But as you can see, looking at it, it's getting colder. <laughs> Look at the temperature. Did it turn on its axis? It looks like axis. It looks like it did. Look. That's interesting. And it's getting colder and colder, even though, you know, it's not that far from the red giant. So let's see, let's check out um, a moon like Titan. What it would be like next to the... Let's put it about there. And what would happen to it? Whoa, that one got actually... Would it change its atmosphere much? No, it's still pretty cold. So, um, 15,000 years later. Well, it looks like our Earth and our Titan disappeared. After 15,000 years, did our sun expand or anything? So that's how you turn the sun into a red dwarf. I mean a red, ugh, not a red dwarf, a red giant. So I'm going to end this by calling a supernova, because why not? There you go. And so that's our video today.